Hey everyone, um, 2K right here. On today's video, I would like to talk to you about the secret feature the Sultan RS has, the new supercar. One of the two new supercars that came to the game with this new update. And then, have you noticed? Have, have you already noticed already that it has the um, street transmission, race transmission, pro pro race transmission? I, I think it's called one of them. And it's the new, the new transmission is called Super Transmission, and that's only for two new cars that I came into the game with. But like, I noticed that the Salton RS um keep keep up with the entity. I tried it with one of my friends um a couple days ago, um and he, it turns out that I can barely keep up with the entity. Like I barely managed to overpass her, pass her on the um, on the turn. But like, if Rockstar, um, I, I, I was hearing about um, Mr. Boss for the win, saying that they should add um, a new car or a new class car, um, race car class, or or at least in between those lines. And I was thinking to myself, when it would be just easier, just up, upgrading or um, giving us another motor or next, uh, like they do with the. Um, with the transmission, like I heard Rockstar just um, create it just for those for the Banshee and for Sultan, just that special transmission. Why don't they just do the same thing with the motor? At least give us an upgrade for the motor, and that way it will keep up with um, Saturno and Turismo and the T20 and Osiris, and that way we have more cars to go by because right now it's under uh, underpower the um, Sultan I mean like it looks good and then it drifts good and handles good but the only thing is that it kind of keep up with the other cars you know if you try drift drifting with it um it looks good like the, um, I sh uh, I'm gonna show you a really good place to go drift if you want to try this um, on your free time I'll show you right now I'll show you a um, place on the map uh, I'll say a waypoint to it right now it's down by the um, docks here in the down of south of Los Santos let me let me let me head over there right now so I'll show you I'll show you how to what handles good on those turns you know and it's short you know that those streets are kind of like short and empty so that's a really good place to go if you want to go practice your drifting or or around those lines you know and I'll like mostly that's why I, I, that's gonna be a top the topic that I wanna like I'm gonna be hitting in a couple days you know I'll post some videos talking um, or actually I'll, I'll I'll post some videos me and my um one of my other friends um well he's like kind of my brother-in-law who well, um will try to race the the um, Sultan RS against his and Torno and and probably take out his uh, um Sultan RS to rent against my entity I um, mean not my entity um my um some Turismo and my um um T20 when I will show you the difference because I think the difference between this the, the this new supercar the Sultan RS could easily like beat I think it easily could beat um someone or supercars in a, in a like turns because this car has really good good handling and I'll show you right now let me take off the waypoint all right cool let me show you let me get some speed going and I'll show you I'll drift right now for you see that's easy how it could easy to drift and I was doing I was practicing drifting with my friend the other day with my brother along one of my friends and then I got a badass drift out of this with this car. Oh shit, no! Oh, that turned out bad. That's my fault, sorry. Yeah. But like, you can like, um, she posted, um, a video, a short video. Like, somehow, um, my, my brother-in-law managed to put landmines or sticky bombs on the, on the ground. I don't fucking drift there all over their, um, over the over them and just he decided just to explode them at the last moment I was coming through he probably thought it was gonna get me but no nah, he didn't get me but I'll, let me recall my car back and 
see what we can do with Morse this. Morse Mutual, cause... we're here to help. Oh, I have the insurgent. What the hell? Uh, might as well call all of them. I think we can do that. Let's go with that. Yeah, how about that? We should call them. We don't. We don't need to for them to charge us more than up the price. All right, let, let me call for my. Well, let me request my vehicle, my personal vehicle, and let's try this again. Well, yeah, I feel like the the um, the Sultan is has really good handling. I tried it, and on the streets, it has really good handling. But the only thing is that it doesn't have that extra speed the other cars have. Yeah, it takes a little. I mean, you guys, it has a really good head start, like takeoff point. But like, it, don't, it doesn't have the um speed the other car car has. Like, the only because it's under 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 look, you know. Because I know it was like, oh, you just like creep ass, you know, like, oh, you barely keep up, you know. But like, the thing is that I think the Sultan RS could keep up with the other supercars. See, uh, like that, you know, you can just easily drift. You know, other cars just like barely force it. I'm barely tapping on the brake. I'm barely like that. Let's go, let's spin out right here. I don't know what happened like what we did cup um right here. But back to the topic, I could easy to see if the Rockstar decides to add the or upgrade the or give us an upgrade for the motor for the Banshee and for the um assault and we can easily or easily keep up with cars. I'm not saying we can like be the fastest car or that shit. I'm just saying we can easily keep up so we can compete with the other cars like the entity the super and the some Santorino and the T20 and the Osiris and the Bugatti or the Adder doesn't really matter. Adder doesn't really matter. You get it? <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, back to the topic. You know, like it has really good handling. It has really good looks. You know, I was waiting for Rockstar to add something like around these lines into the game. I was, I was like, I was praying somewhere in the future they can add this. Like you can handle it, it handles pretty good. Like, see, like, it's just like barely managed to, like, barely, barely managed to. Like, but here, like, if I put a break and oh, we go against the wall. Oh, you saw that kind of bounced off there, but yeah. And the other thing I want to talk about is like, I wonder what kind of what new guns or I, I, I want Rockstar to bring out, bring back, actually, bring back the de devastating flamethrower that was like one of my favorite guns and um and vice city gta vice city and still is today you know i i, I get we get the the mini gun i get we get the humming launcher like the brand new humming launcher that came out the the i'm not a hipster dlc and the like original um missile launcher but like i want that extra like old school touch on this game, you know, like we still have like the revolver, we still have like the oh no, what else? What what weapon I almost want to see return? The chainsaw. That's you can like take out. Imagine we're just walking down the street, you know, taking all the cops, cops with a chainsaw, and that's like one of my. That's like one of my things that I wanted to talk about, you know. Like bring back the chainsaw, but I'm probably I'm probably gonna get at, in that topic in the next video. But for now, I just I'll just leave you guys to be, you know, peace.